I'm on my way to pick up the Lumia 640 right now, the AT&T variant. Uh, Best Buy yeah, over on the west side told me that they would match the price of the Microsoft store, which it's on sale for $39.99 today. Uh, I'm going to go there and check it out. Let's see how this goes. You guys ever seen the old Hobbit movie, the cartoon from the 70s? I just watched it last night and it was great. The greatest adventure is all yours to make. You know, I'm really interested to see how this Lumia 640 is going to hold up because the last Lumia I bought on like a fire sale like this was um, the Lumia 520 last year. They had the Target Red Spot version of it on sale for 20 bucks. So I bought a Lumia 520 for 20 bucks. And you know what? For 20 bucks, I was really just amazed that you could get a functional smartphone running full Windows Phone 8. Um, the thing though, is the device was really, uh, felt really cheap. Like it had really hard plastics that kind of felt like they were kind of covered in sand. Um, it's kind of hard to explain there. Um, and then the front, uh, the front glass wasn't even Gorilla Glass, it was just some sort of hardened glass. Um, and generally my feelings on that device were pretty good at the time, but looking back that device was horrible. Um, so I hope this Lumia 640 is a bit better than the 520 was. And I probably would load Windows 10 on it right away, but uh, looking at what what Windows 10 has done to my uh, Lumia 920, it's basically decimated the battery life and hasn't really added much to the performance. So I'm kind of leery about putting Windows 10 on this, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, it's funny is when I picked up that Lumia 640 at the store, it was in one of those plastic blister packs that, you know, those toys used to come in when you were a kid. Like, uh, I remember getting a Digivice. Yeah, those were awesome when I was, uh, when I was like 10 years old. And, uh, that came in one of those blister packs. And it, it cost roughly the same. I mean, it cost 30 bucks. And now we're 15 years later and you can get a smartphone for, for, uh, 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. And uh, I know LG just came out with one that's $10 and it's nuts, but <laughs> it's just so crazy how fast technology has advanced since, uh, since we started carrying around mobile technology. I mean, geez, going from a Digivice, which is a little black and white play thing, to a fully functional smartphone, that's, that's incredible. Whew, finally got back. Now time to unbox this baby with my trusty shed of, set of kitchen shears. Yeah, let's figure out which pile let me in first. Oh dang, this is ridiculous. Normal people do this. Just rip up the side here, just chop it open. I don't want to actually wreck the device, so this might be more complicated than I thought. Ah. Ah. Whew. Wow, that is ridiculous. Alright, so out comes that, and let's see if anything else comes in the packaging. Besides many, many hurt hands after attempting to open this thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get blades. So look at it. Wow. And then what's all this? Ah, okay. A Nokia charger that comes in the box. The battery. <laughs> Thank God. Um, spare USB cable for hooking up to your computer. Uh, some dumb start guide information that, of course, I won't read. Because who reads that? And an anti theft thing in the Wow. That's interesting. Your device is restoring. Please wait. All right, so um, it's still downloading the apps. That's going to take forever. But um, just uh, I'm using my Lumia icon to film this video, but it really is incredible. I'm restoring from a backup, and it looks the exact same 
as my Lumia icon, which I'm also, it's another Windows phone I'm using, and uh, it's great how everything's just downloading and in the exact same place as it is on my other phone. So that, I think, is really cool. That's really a testament to how good the, the cloud backup is for Windows Phone. Uh, but some specific things about this device I noted already, um, or I haven't noted yet, is um, this is the first Windows Phone device I've actually used with on-screen buttons down here. And it's definitely a change. Um, I actually pretty much hate on-screen buttons. Um, these aren't so bad yet, but um, I'll stick with it and see how it goes. Uh, one interesting thing about them is that you can slide up from the bottom and they disappear, slide up again, and they come back. Um, so it's interesting if you want to take more, f if you want to take full advantage of the screen, you can just swipe and get rid of those, and then um, you just get a more immersive experience. So that's really cool. Um, and then some comments about the build quality. Uh, so the back of it, it's covered in this really matte plastic. And um, if you use like the Lumia 920 or the 928, um, it's even it's even more matte than those. It's just it's so it's so flat that um, it's a little bit slippery. And to be frank, I actually kind of wish they used a more glossy plastic on this, like what they have on the volume rockers, because it would be easy to hold. But I know for a fact that you can get different covers for this that have that glossy coating, so I might actually be investing in one of those. Um, next thing is, um, it actually does come with uh, basically the glance screen enabled. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does say 510 down there, and it has double tap to wake. So that's pretty cool, because those used to be high-end features when it came to Windows Phone. Um, besides that, I've also noticed this device only has 8 gigabytes of storage, and um, over four of those were uh, filled up when I turned the device on. So, um, <laughs> yeah, there is not a lot of storage to install applications and and really get your app get your app junky self on. Um, but uh, I have been making sure to uninstall the games which I'm not going to be playing and um, it looks like I've got enough storage to download all the rest of my applications that aren't games so we'll see how that goes and um, I'll update you guys more with thoughts on this once it's done. All right so in the meantime while those apps are downloading I've decided I'm going to load up one of my favorite YouTube videos to check out the screen quality and the speaker quality. Now this is a 5 inch 720p display and I'm sure it's LCD but I don't I just don't know how it's going to perform so let's give it a look. Oh there we go. Finally started. Someone was playing it 1080p that doesn't make sense. I'm sure it's just downscaled. All right, and let's see how high the volume gets. Wow, the speaker gets very loud, like surprisingly loud. Wow, I am genuinely impressed. I mean, I've, there are better screens out there, but this is very, very good. Especially for the $39 that I paid for it. You could easily watch a movie on this, no problem. Now that is an incredible video and an incredible movie, which it is advertising, and if you guys want to know about that movie, I'm going to link to that trailer in the video's description. I highly recommend that you watch it. 
Well, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for my Lumia 640 adventure video. And I hope you guys liked watching it. I certainly enjoyed filming it. If you guys liked the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching.